Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be continuing the Comfy UI tutorials. I have started a playlist from scratch from the very basics and we have talked about control nets, we have talked about uh, image detailing, adding details to the image and then image upscaling and now we're talking about image animation. So in today's video we're going to be talking about image animation and as you can see the chicken is happy about the animation she can finally move its wings and look around and everything so the uh, image come is coming uh, to life as you can see uh, and in today's video we're going to be explaining how we can do that very easily uh, it's not a complicated uh, workflow as you can see i try to make all my workflows very simple uh, to follow and also I'll be leaving this workflow in my coffee page in the description below. So let's talk about the nodes that we need for this workflow. We need the animate diff evolved and the video helper suit and the C plus control box. This one is a custom node that you can download uh, from my coffee page for free. It's in the description below. And these two, these two, you can download them from the manager install missing nodes or you can go into install custom nodes and search for their name and they'll be there and you can install them the final thing that you need is that the version 3 sd 1.5 motion model uh, this model you can also download it using the manager install models and just type mm and search and you'll see this is the checkpoint that you need version 3 sd 1.5 mm and once you download this, uh, put this on auto select, or you can use the square linear animate diff here. If you're using SDXL, you can use this as well, but you'll need another uh, model here. So you can use MM SDXL version 10 beta for SDXL instead of this model. And uh, what that's what you need really and where this this one goes is between the load checkpoint model and it goes into the input model here the output model goes into the input model of the control box and it passes it to the k sampler uh, you can uh, also if you don't want to use the control box you can just pass it straight through to the k sampler the model so technically it works like a LoRa almost and uh, you need this it's optional but i i highly recommend adding it because this is the context options here the way to add it is you just drag a line and pick the first option and once you pick the first option in here let's explain what this does as well uh, here you have the context length which is 16 frames and we have 16 frames that we are generating, but this one stays at 16 frames uh, to leave the context length, and then four frames to overlap, to keep the frames consistent and transitioning from each 16 frame at a time. Uh, this one, I recommend putting it at flat instead of pyramid, because I get really uh, better results with this. We have the uh, video combine, this one, what it does is that it takes all the images generated by the K sampler and turns them into an animation like this. And as you can see here, the, uh, from the control box, we have 16 frames. We're generating 16 frames uh, latent batch size with 512 by 512 uh, latent image size and passing it into the K sampler. And we have here frame rate as 8. So this means every second there are 8 frames. Since we have 16 total frames and 8 frames per second, this is going to be an animation of 2 seconds, as you can see here on the right. So uh, let's test this animation. Let's see, uh, rotating red rows, for example, and hit generate. It really all depends on the SD 1.5 model that you use. I'm using AGI SD 1.5, which is also a premium model at my coffee page for members. So make sure to use a decent 
SD 1.5 model to get good results. So you can see here we got a really nice uh, red rose rotating. So thank you, this red rose I give it, uh, gift it to all my subscribers. I love you all. And we're really close to 1,000 subscribers, so I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you in the next video.